Welcome to Homestead Reptile, and today we're going to be going over the crested gecko diet, and we're going to look over their diet in the wild. To know an animal's nutritional needs, it's important to look at what they actually eat in the wild. So in the wild, crested geckos eat pollen aggregates, and that's 10.3%, soft seeds, 1.8%, berries, 11.7%, fruit juice, 7.52%, Insects, 49.6%. Coleopteras, which are basically just beetles, 9.45%. Um, caterpillars, butterflies, 7.52%. Um, Diptyr Diptyria, which is basically flies, 3.12%. Roaches, 6.2%. Um, Berthoripteria, might be pronouncing that right. Scientific name for crickets and loaches, 21.6%. They also have found remains of small lizards, including their own young and their digestive tract, and that was 11.4%. They have also found other vertebrate prey, 8.6%, um, which were this, which of that vertebrate prey, 6.42% of that prey were young rodents of some form. So this study was done in 2007. I will add the information up there. But this is what they found in the digestive tracts of crested geckos in the wild. So what's important to notice in here is that they eat a lot of protein. Also in this study, they said it was seasonal diet. So during certain times of the year, they want to eat more protein. During other times of the year, they want to eat more fruit. So that's also something to keep in mind. If you want to offer your crested gecko fruit, you can go for mango, pear, banana, grape, fig, apricot, strawberry, watermelon, peach, plum, blueberry, and honeydew. There's a lot of other fruits you can feed, but this is the ones that most crested geckos will enjoy snacking on. Now, that's fruit is not a complete diet. They need a lot more in their diet than just fruit. I mentioned all those insects. You should, even if you're feeding a complete powdered diet, Offer live insects, your geckos will take it. So I encourage people to feed roaches, crickets, even though I personally don't feed crickets anymore. I, I hate them. They're nasty. Crickets, mealworms, uh, superworms. You can also feed um, waxworms or any other types of available caterpillars. You can also feed locusts if you have them available. They're just harder to come by. And you can feed different species of roaches. I also like to feed in my groups, especially babies, I they love to eat isopods. And isopods are full of calcium. They're not a true insect. They are actually more closely related to shrimp. But their exoskeleton has a ton of calcium in it. So that's something you can also offer if you have a breeding colonies of isopods. So... Looking at the different types of food that I personally love to use and I think are like some of the best, Pangea. I have lots of Pangea, as you can see there, lots of different flavors. Rapashi, my geckos love the Rapashi. They like the original flavor, the banana, the best. So I just get the banana. They also really love Zoomed. So the Zoomed watermelon brand, they like that. They like the, they like all the Zoomed stuff a lot. They like it more than Rapashi. They also like the color bomb from um, BP Zoological. It's great. And they have uh, different types of flavors. And that's the blueberry. They love that. It's a great flavor to, to give. My guys love it. And they like most Pangea. Um, I have a Pangea treat formula, which is not the complete diet. It's just a treat. They really like in the big bag she's right next to. That is the... It's not the papaya. What was that? Um, apricot. They really like apricot. My guys really don't care for the Pangea watermelon. They prefer the Zoomed watermelon. But the reason why I keep this wide variety of food is so I don't have any picky eaters. I don't like picky eating geckos. I want them to have a wide variety of food because I honestly think it's better for them to have a wide palate. Especially when they're going into a new home. When I'm rehoming babies, I want my babies to have a variety of foods that are commonly available that people can feed them and they won't have a gecko that's just a picky eater. 
I also really try to feed a lot of insects to my babies. But there are some foods that I like more and some foods I don't like. So, again, Pangea is on my list. Zoomed um, is actually a very great food. It's very comparable to Pangea. Um, Black Panther Zoological is also a premium diet. And then Premium Gecko Diet by Ligardi is also a really great food. They have different flavors. My geckos really like it. Rapashi, my geckos like it. Um, and also, I like to add bee pollen and honey into my food into my diet that's also something great to really encouraging a great feeding response um, just a little extra so this the stuff I'm adding is extra but there are some foods that I would tell people to avoid um, the ingredients aren't good the quality is not good and your geckos just won't eat it so even if it's nutritionally balanced and it's a good diet if the gecko won't eat it it's not worth getting so leap and lychees, my geckos don't care too much for it. Um, the premium gecko diet, my geckos like it. It's not their favorite, but it's it's good. I like that it has crushed dubious in it, so that's different. Um, another diet is the Thrive diet from PetSmart. Um, ingredients aren't good. It's not quality at all. I picked it up just to pick it up. And this is a brand that's off of Amazon. It's supposed to be comparable to uh, Pangea. And my geckos don't like it. It's at the same price as Pangea. Um, the ingredients aren't better than Pangea. So I just wouldn't get it. Again, I'm just feeding it off to my brooch colonies. Um, because my geckos really won't touch it. They don't like it. So I'm not giving, going to even bother purchasing that brand ever again it's not very quality um and the geckos won't eat it and then again bee pollen bee pollen is a great supplement to add into your geckos diet um i like to add it they enjoy it and you just want to make sure you're giving your gecko the best nutrition you can and i say don't just stick with one brand of food go for a lot of different brands because each brand is made slightly different and they use slightly different feeder insects like that one that i showed you they use dubia roaches another one was using black soldier fly larva another one was using mealworm larva um and then another one was using uh silkworm larva so there's like this vast variety of different insect proteins because not every insect is made the same and then you have different fruits so we have the mixed fruit with watermelon, um, papaya, and banana. Then you have the blueberry flavor. Then I have some more exotic ones, the dragon fruit, fruit um, blueberry, and just some flavors that are a little bit more difficult to find. And then the ingredients are slightly different. Like some food, pressure gecko diets have a whey protein or they'll have egg in it. And some won't have egg in it. So it's great to just give them a variety of diet it's enjoyable for them and by not feeding them just one variety of pangea you're making a gecko that is going to most likely be picky it's going to pick at its food and it's going to be like i just want that type of pangea i'm only going to eat that type of pangea and they're going to be picky about it they'll eat of course when they're hungry but they're going to throw a bit of a fuss about not getting the food that they, they want to eat all the time and my guys love really sugary foods, so they really like the sweeter flavors of Pangea. But I don't just allow them to eat the super sweet Pangea. They love it. But if I let them just eat the sweet Pangea, the sweeter flavors, they're going to turn their nose up at the more protein-based Pangeas. So crested geckos in the wild have a more protein-based diet. But crested geckos in captivity have a more fruit-based diet. And they like the fruit. They love it. it. It's sweet. It's good for them. But they really love it. So try to feed a little bit more protein. And then we can look at ingredients. So again, this one has black soldier fly larva, organic dried banana. has a lot of good ingredients in it. So the first five ingredients are the most important ingredients to look at. So that's what makes up the diet. So ingredients i do not like seeing in crested gecko diets corn i don't like corn corn does not need to be anywhere near your gecko corn soy um i do not like sugar like added sugar like molasses i don't care for it see that's cane molasses it's not necessarily 
I don't care for them to have cane molasses in their food. That's why this one isn't my favorite. It's not necessarily bad, but your geckos don't need to be eating a lot of cane molasses. They really should be getting most of their sugar from directly honey, bee pollen, or they should be getting the natural sugar from the fruit because crested geckos aren't sitting there in the wild chewing on a sugar cane to get cane sugar. They're just not. So I don't care to have a lot of sugar, you know, that type of sugar in their diet. It's not necessarily bad for them, but it's not necessarily the best. And that's, again, why they really like that one, because it's super sweet. So I just add that and mix it in with my other foods. And again, there are certain foods you should definitely steer away from. So if you're ever in the pet store and see that little bottle of Crested Gecko Diet that are in these little cubes or the little jelly pots, your geckos will never touch them. They will never eat them. Um, just throw it out. If you have a feeder insect colony, give it to your feeders. Um, crusty geckos are not going to eat pellets. They're not dogs. They're not going to eat those moist little cubes. I've never actually seen a ke crusty gecko ever eat one of those. I think they'd probably just starve to death before they ever touched one. So with this, the variety of foods you can get, there's just so much you can get and there's a ton of new food brands coming out which i love to test new food brands that's kind of why i picked up that amazon purchase and the uh pet smart purchase so the pet smart purchase if you had to if you had to go out to a big stop big pet shop and you're out of crested gecko food and you saw that and you saw a bag of zoomed go for the zoomed Zoomed's much better than that Thrive junk. And then the the um, Gentle Gecko, the breeder formula. My geckos don't even like it. The ingredients aren't that bad, but there's a little... They don't enjoy it. I wouldn't bother getting it again. The bag cost me $13 or so and uh, online. And I can go to my pet shop and get the same size bag of Pangea for $8. I'm just going to get Pangea. But I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and tell me what your geckos love to eat.